to share with you how to check sources and how to ask questions and how to edit information within the profile depending on what you have found. So I'm just going to click some uh, Ancestor. Let's go with Eli Woods Wilkerson. Again, I haven't viewed him before, so I honestly have no idea what I'm going to find. So let's see what we do. Okay, and make this a tiny bit smaller. Okay, so the first thing you want to do, and in this case, it is true, I have no idea who Eli Woods Wilkerson is, but I want you to always pretend that you don't know who this person is. Okay, because then we can go through the sources and ask questions and be just balanced with it all and going, okay, what do we really want to know? Okay, the one thing is, um, the more information that you find, the more you know who Eli Woods Wilkerson is, but also it helps to prevent possible duplicates. Because let's say I have, um, you're connected to the same ancestor, you have Eli Wilkerson and I have uh, Woods Wilkerson. You have April of 1829 and I have July of 1881. Well, it's not going to necessarily know that this is the same ancestor, the same person, but in fact it is. Okay, so the more information we find, the more we clarify. Because now, because I know that it's Eli Woods Wilkerson, if you had Eli Wilkerson, it would say, hey, the possible match. This is a possible duplicate. Especially if you had 1829 in and I had 1829, it's going to trigger those things within the family search database. Okay, so the, you want to find if you can find first middle name. Maybe it's Eli. Maybe it's Elijah. The more you find out, the better. Okay. The other thing is, um, again, we here we have 15th April 829, 1829, but we only know it's North Carolina. Do we know the county? Do we know the city? Let's see if we can find that out. We do have accuracy, at least according to this profile. Again, I don't know. I haven't verified the sources yet. But where in Tennessee? Is there a burial place? Because maybe if I visit Tennessee, I could go and visit them, right? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at the sources. So I'm going to open this in a new tab. For me in my brain, I like to keep the profile page as one tab and the sources as another. You can see those two side by side up here. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click again. If I want to, I can click View Source here, and I can close it here. Or this is cool imaginary button right along here, and I can just click it. I don't have to move my mouse around so much. So here, let's take a look. This is Tennessee marriages. So we have Eli Wilk Wilkinson. So this is Wilkerson, and this is Wilkinson. So that's one thing I can write down. Is it Wilkinson? Is it Wilkerson? Each source is going to have more reliabilities than others. So again, this is Sarah Curry. Is that indeed who we have in the system? Is the spouse? Okay, we have Sarah Ann Curry. Great. Okay, so that matches. The spelling's a little bit. And so we have Sarah, and that spelling's the same. And we have the marriage is 12th of January, 1862. Go back to your first tab. 12th of January, 1862. And we have McNary, Tennessee. And we have McNary, Tennessee. Again, I like standard form, so to edit this, I'm going to click on this pencil. You can actually see here, we have two of these. We don't need two. They're exactly the same thing. This is January, which is written out, and this is not. So we're going to delete this one. Click Edit. Okay. Click Delete and say Duplicate Information. Wow hands are cold today and I can't type. Okay, because we don't need two of the exact same thing in there, right? Just helps clean things up. All right, perfect. Now that looks really good. Okay, so this source, according to what's in Family Search, other than spelling Wilkinson versus Wilkerson, is great. So jot that down on your notebook. Next source tells us the same thing, only this says Miss Sarah Curry. This one does have a certificate, I mean an image, so I want to look. I do find with some marriage records, they don't really give you a lot of great information um, other than what is already indexed. But maybe you come in here and you see, okay, that does look like an N. That looks like I-N. So who wrote this? What is this? Okay. So you could always look at this. 
see that didn't, that doesn't look like mist to me but we'd have to look into that a little bit further okay so once you look at this and say okay it doesn't give me any additional information um okay so here's more up here so curry So anyway, you take a look like that, okay? Once you do that, it doesn't give any in additional information. We're going to click on the next source. Again, this looks the same. Close it, move on to the next source. Okay, now this is the 1880 census. Here we've got Wilkerson, and it's the way it's indexed. In first place in North Carolina, which is true, the father's and mother's birthplace, birthplace is also North Carolina. So let's say Eli was the end of the road. Well, look at this. Okay, so we're on Eli. So if we click on Mary, North Carolina, but look at this. We had the fathers being North Carolina. We don't even have a father in here. So we click Add Spouse, and we can type in Wilkerson, and we're gonna um, mark as deceased, and we're gonna put North Carolina because of the time frame. We know that. If it was close to the 110 years and I didn't have any um, verification of birth, I would put, okay, let's, so we're going to always select from this list. So 70, 1776 to present. And there's no matches now, so we're going to create this. Again, the only information we have is Wilkerson and, and that he was born in North Carolina. So that's great, though. It's going to give us a little bit of a head start on maybe that generation. So here we have, we're going to verify everybody within here. Sarah A. Wilkerson. And we got Sarah A. And she's married at this time. You got son Barry, Henry, and Elizabeth are the children. Barry, Henry, and Elizabeth. Mary, Laura, and Reuben. Mary, Laura, and Reuben. John, Martha, and Donna. John, Martha, and Donna. Okay, so they're all in here and accounted for. You could also double check that they're all in Tennessee. Double check all this information. Now, this image looks like it's been through the ringer. So let's see if there's any information on here. Okay, so here's one, let's see, so here we go. So here we got that he's a farmer. Now that can actually be helpful. Um, as you go along, maybe he's consistently a farmer. Maybe he's a farmer at a certain age, um, and maybe he was something else before that, okay? So, and then keeping house and working on the farm. So you can look at the age, okay? And so these are some different things that you're going to want to look at. Here's some other information. Cannot read. Um, you know, so you can look at some different things about them. Here shows that they're married, and these show that they're single. And this, if they're marked over here, then you know that they're widowed. Okay. So those are some things you want to look at in the image. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Death record. Here we have Mary, Mary D. Uh, Leslie. So we come here, we have Mary D. Okay, and then we're going to open up Mary in a new tab and see who she's. Okay, so, so she's married uh, to a Leslie, so that confirms that information. We have the death, it's 5th of August 1916 in Hardy, Montague, Texas. So if we look here, we have right here and that's all in there and that's great so, so she was married and her birthday is 2nd December 1866 perfect and that father's name is Eli Wilkerson this is Sarah A. Carey instead of the Curry um, so anyway you want to you can open up the image whenever there's an image you want to do that so and this is great um, because it'll give you additional information. Show, shows they're married, shows their race, shows how they died. So this is one thing if you have 
different information on death certificates, you could say, hey, is this genetic? Is this not genetic? Do I need to be careful of things? Okay, so here we have Hardy Cemetery. The date of burial was 7-6-1916. Let's see if we have that in here. Okay, so we have, okay, but we don't have the date, which is 7-6. Oops, sorry, wrong tab. So I'm going to put that in here. Okay, so it looks like they're writing things because August is um, the seventh month, not July. Seven, six. Oh, is that a nine? I don't even know. That's a seven. Okay, that, see, that doesn't make any sense, right? Because if she died in August, seven, six is not correct. So let's take a look. It says August. And that's the eighth month. So maybe that's why nobody put it in because there's not a hundred percent of. But we do know it's Hardy Cemetery, so that's great. All right, closing that one. Moving on to the next one, right? Remember how to close that. Next record. So this is the daughter Sarah and Bonnie Inman. I just go back here, and this will be. Oh, let's see, Sarah and Bonnie Inman. Maybe it's Laura S. Let's see if it's Laura. Okay, so who is who is Sarah Ann? Let's see if it's already attached. Sarah Ann Donnie Wilkerson. Okay, so who is that? Because that's not in this list. Okay, so now we have a question, right? The question is, who is Sarah Ann Donnie Wilkerson? Because it shows father's name is Eli and the mother is Sarah Curry. So now we have this question and we're going to look into that. Okay, so I'm going to come back to this source at a later point. Okay, the next one is right here. Louise Cox. And let's go back and see there's a Louise. Louisa. We're going to open up Louisa, and what, so she should be married to a Cox on 31 of May, 1947. Okay, let's see if she's married to a Cox. Okay, great. The Tipton, Tennessee. It's kind of a fun name. So this is rural Tipton, Tennessee. Again, we can update this to standard form, see if rural is actually part of it, or do we, you know, or do we just put rural down in here? So you'd look into that. Okay, it's rural Tipton. Just saying it's a rural location and it's Tipton, or, you know, that's my guess, but I don't want to guess. I'm going to research that and see how Tipton is. It, how was Tipton back in 1947? Okay, again, this is showing that she's widowed at the time. So that means prior to 31st of May, 31st of May, 31st, that was great, 1947, she should have lost her husband. Okay, look at this. We don't even have a deceased date. So we could put, we can come in here. We're going to open up Hugh. And in here, we could put in before 31st of May, 1947. And then I would come in here and I would copy this title. And I would just say, oops, wrong tab. From Tennessee. Um, death. His wife was listed as widowed at the time of her death. So that way someone in the future can know that. But look, that's great. Making progress. So again, these are the names. And so birth is 17th September 1863. And in this 18th, again, we can edit this, put it in standard form. Do we know where in in Kentucky? Uh, this burial place is Adamsville, Tennessee. So I can copy that. And here we go. Okay, we already have that in, but we can find out where the cemetery is. We can again, we can edit it, 
the way to do standard form is if I just manually, so I'm going to show you something, okay? If I come here and click 6 and I just click outside, see how that doesn't change? What you have to do is you have to click the space bar and then choose the one with the icon, okay? So again, come in here, space bar, then choose, sorry about the alarm. Okay, so then I, again here, this is 1818 to present, so I'm going to select that one. Okay, so I'm going to say updated to standard form. And that just helps the database to get things. So my questions are where, get this in standard form, is the world tipped in? Let me learn more about that. Okay. And you can click on the certificate, see if there's other causes of death that may be genetic. Okay, next one, we've got John. So I'm going to close some of these. We're going to come back here and we're going to go to John. Okay, so here's John. Now again, here's John and Wilkerson. Um, this is estimated 1871, and we have 1873 right here. So we need to look into that further, right? 4th of November, 1950 in Bolivar. This is near Bolivar, so let's if we can get this in standard form. But do you see that? We have N is the middle initial. We don't even have one. So again, I would come in here, click N, and I can copy this and say middle initial from, oops, I shouldn't have put from because it already came from that one. Okay, so now we got additional information. Great. So again, we can click on the death certificate, see if there's any additional information. This, okay, unfinished attachments. Back, it used to be uh, hard to attach records um, to every single person on the record. And so now they have it as unfinished attachments. So I can come in here, it'll open it up, and I can see who it's not attached to. So if I come down here, it's going to show that William Thomas Inman is not attached to William. So if I return to the record and click on William Thomas Inman, then I can find where, but William Thomas Inman was one of our questions that we had earlier. So once we find it out, we can review and attach that record to him. Okay, so that's how you do that. So now you can look at, okay, what are the things that we, we have answered through these nine sources? What questions do we have? And let's keep pursuing it. And we'll talk about that in another video on how to keep pursuing this information. Okay, I hope you this was helpful on how to review your sources how to get edit information um, based on what you found in the sources, and then let's get those questions answered over time. I hope you have a great day.